Hello, this is Nicole D'Alessio, and I am going to show you how to make a selection using Photoshop Touch. So, for example, if I want to combine two photos and make a composition, and I want to isolate or knock out the background on one of my pictures so that I can composite it together with my other photo, I can do this with just a few tricks. So here I am in Photoshop Touch, and I want to take my photo. Here's my photo. I'm importing it into Photoshop Touch. So this is one of my photos, and I want to just cut out the banana without having her hand in the picture or the background. And usually it works best if you want to cut something out that is set up against a backdrop with a strong contrasting color and solid colors work better. And so in this case, because my banana is not a solid color yellow and it has some blemishes on it that I want to keep, I'm going to cut the black out. And down in the bottom of my toolbar, where the eraser is, I can see that there's a nest of different tools here. And this one here is this magic wand tool, which I'm going to use to cut out the black. And over here, you can choose your mode and then the tolerance as well. So if you want to cut more out, you put it up. If you want to cut less out, you put it on the bottom. And I will just, you're going to have to test it out and see how it works. So using the magic wand tool, I go ahead and click. And it's selected around the banana and her hand. So you could see the marching ants here where you have those little dotted lines. And then up here on the top, I'm going to select the inverse because I want to leave the banana and cut out the black. And then I'm going to select Extract. So it did a pretty good job now of cutting out everything except for her hand because that wasn't black. And then I'm going to deselect. And then next I'm going to go back over to my eraser tool and you can choose your brush. I'm going to choose a larger brush with the, with the flow opacity and hardness set to 100%. And then I'm going to go over and just erase the rest of it that I won't be needing. And I find that if you zoom in really close, too, you're going to get a much better selection. If I did a little bit too much here, I'm going to go backwards and I'll try it again. And I might go ahead and make my brush a little bit smaller. And notice on the background there's a checkerboard. That means clear. So basically that part's cut out wherever you see that checkerboard pattern. And I'm finished with that. So what I could do is I can press done and just go ahead and save my project. And now if I just want to hold on to that, that banana without anything else, I can go ahead and export it out. So I want to save it to my camera roll. And you have some options down here. You can have JPEG or PNG. A JPEG is just a regular flat photo that's not been cut out. And a PNG is going to maintain the transparency, so all the checkerboard area will maintain its transparency. And I've selected that, and I can press OK. And when I save it down to my camera roll, it will have maintained that transparent background. So it looks white right here and then black, but then when I layer it on top of other things, it will be clear. Now, if I want to then bring in another layer and put the other photo without having to do it the other way, I can go to my photo library, and I've brought in my other photo, and then I can just check mark it. So right now it's on top of the banana, and I can't see the banana underneath. So I can just drag that layer on the top, and I have the top banana. And then I can resize it however I want to do it, and rotate it, and mess around with it. So, and then Basically, that's it, how you do it, and then go ahead and see the next tutorial for the rest of it. Enjoy!